fellas 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 what is going on today fellas so in today's video i want to explain how to become a snipe god in this game okay so you guys know this squad right here is built mainly through sniping and grinding the game out i, I would say about half and half and basically or maybe i don't know maybe like 60 40 maybe 60 on the sniping side 40 on the grinding side i don't know it, it, it's it's very close but i'm gonna i'm gonna teach you how to become a snipe god now i talk about filters in plenty of my videos i talk about them on stream you know i talk about what's the best filters to use i made a video how to get kareem no money spent this is not going to be that kind of video and like me telling you filters maybe i might discuss a filter along the way sometime in this video but it'd be mostly about like how to actually snipe like you know like like the the process behind it what are you actually doing and when how are you going to become successful at sniping so and yeah basically how to become a great sniper so yeah let's just get straight into this video man i'm talking i'm giving some tips um i'm going to show you my snipes just so for those of you who may be new if you're new make sure to hit the subscribe button man because uh i drop videos every day videos to help you guys out and i stream every day look take a look at this this miss lamello from last night that was pretty tough man that was pretty tough I'm gonna get one though. Either I'm gonna get him or I'm gonna get somebody else who goes for a lot just like him. So I'm not even tripping. But yeah, I mean, but we've got multiple Ben snipes. Um, and this is just for me to show you that, bro, I know what I'm talking about when it comes to this sniping stuff, okay? And it, it wasn't too long ago when I didn't know anything. This is Oscar 33K. That's probably my cheapest Opal snipe that actually went for a lot. Another Oscar. So, like, I'm trying to tell you, man, I know what I'm talking about. Look at this Richard boom i know how to get these snipes man for the most part sometimes i may miss one you know we're not always going to get every snipe that's just how it is but i want to teach you guys how you can have you know the best sort of luck when it comes to it and you know so yeah let's just get straight into it man so what you want to do first off if you're new to sniping what you need to do is you need to study great snipers okay if you ever want to become good at anything what do you do you go to the experts and you do what they say so you go to people like myself and other YouTubers like myself who know how to snipe, who are very proficient in sniping, who get a ton of snipes, and you watch their sniping videos. I have a whole sniping playlist on my channel with tons of snipe filters, tons of videos with tips for sniping. You can go to that if you want. Um, there's other YouTubers, Logic Looks, Yeezium, um, Medi, uh, I think even Space Word Bird does sniping. There's a lot of people who do it, but the ones that I just named, we, we focus mo mostly on sniping for our channels. Uh, like our channels are built, built upon sniping. And yeah, so basically, I want to teach you how to do that. You want to study guys like us because we know what we're talking about. I'm not saying that to like toot my own horn or anything like that. I'm just, I'm, I showed you the snipes. I mean, I have 1.4 million MT. I did build a great squad without spending any money in the game, as did all these other guys who don't spend money in the game that I just mentioned. So go ahead and watch their videos, watch my videos, watch their filter videos, watch my filter videos, because maybe sometimes we may drop different filters. Sometimes you might say the same filter. But sometimes they, they know something that maybe I don't know. I know something maybe they don't know, you know? So that's why I'm saying you got to watch all of these guys. And then you uh, you become an expert sniper, just like our NBA players. If they look up to a certain guy, um, if somebody would look up to somebody like, I don't know, LeBron, and they try to emulate his game and, and to put that into their own game when for when they go to the NBA, they watch guys like LeBron and all the other NBA superstars and legends. They try to take parts of their game and put it into their own game. It's the same thing here on sniping, man. You just, only it's like, it's not as advanced as I guess you can say. We're not doing any sort of dribble moves or anything. You guys know what I'm talking about, though. Just watch all our stuff. Watch the experts and you learn from them, okay? Watch our streams, all of that, okay? That's the first tip I can give you, okay? Now, another tip I want to give you is, some, some of you guys say, how to snipe faster. When I first started this game, when I first started my channel, and back in September when this game first came out, I had no idea how to snipe. Now, I did used to snipe back when I used to play 2K, like 2K 15, 16, and it was a lot different. So when it came on this game, I didn't know what to do. What did I do? I did exactly what I just said. I watched the experts and then I learned and I became an expert and now I'm teaching you guys. So um, basically once you know how to set up filters, um, you, you're good to go because you don't even have to watch anymore. You can just come up with your own filters as they start to drop new content. But let's talk about sniping speed. How can you get better at sniping speed? So this is, this is what I did. You have to really like, focus on the, the little details about a snipe so i'll show you for example let's just pull up any card let's go let's go emerald let's put let's like let's make sure the um 
I don't know, let's actually let's just put minimum bio 500 for now. Let's do that. So you see a whole bunch of these cards. I'm going to scroll all the way down because I don't want to I want to make sure that I'm going on cards that don't have too much time left on them. I mean, I have a lot more time left on them. So, yeah, let's let, let's choose we can choose any one of these cards. Now, I spoke about this before. I spoke about it on stream very long ago when my channel was small. I spoke about it maybe in videos very long ago. I don't really remember. It has been a minute, and I know a lot of you guys are new, so you want to you want to know this if you're if you're new to sniping. Let's say, for example, um, actually, let me let me go enabled, just in case I end up buying somebody who I already have. Whoa, whoa, why is this man posting a Kendrick Nunn for 100k? Funny man, bro. But yeah, just in case I end up accidentally buying somebody, at least they go to my collection. So yeah, this is what this is how you can practice your snipes. I literally just put color emerald. I put enabled. And then I put, you don't need to put enabled, but, and I put minimum buyout 500 to make sure that all these guys are buyouts because that's the only way you can get a snipe if they have a buy now price, right? Unless you're bid sniping, that's a whole different story. But here we go. So if you want to practice your speed, this is exactly what I did. This is exactly how I started to get proficient in, in, at, at sniping. I closed my eyes. I would be scrolling through. I mean, there's tons of cards to scroll through. So close my eyes, right? Close my eyes. Um, and I would just continue scrolling as you can see I'm holding I don't know I, I don't even know if I'm showing it on the camera but I'm just I'm taking a guess maybe I am maybe I'm not but I'm holding right on the d-pad what I do to try to simulate the process of a snipe popping up when you're on a filter I open my eyes first card I pop up on I would try to buy it out now you see I don't I mean I don't really want this Matt Barnes so I'm not gonna go ahead and buy it out but for those of you who, guys who do know when the bid and the buy now are the same price you don't need to go for the buy it now you can buy it straight off the bid um i mean i'll just do it for i'll, I'll show you for this matt barnes i mean why not right why not right it says you successfully successfully bought the auction i mean i don't really need matt barnes but he's only 850 mt and not about to be cheap on here bro so yeah i didn't go to the buy it now i just got it straight off the bid that's a little tip for those who didn't know i know a lot of you guys did know that already but i'm trying to help out like the new players here as well that's what this is for ultimately so boom man there's a lot of matt barnes going up right now um same thing bro so you just do that you close your eyes i know it's going kind of slow right now but i guess it doesn't really matter close your eyes and uh do the do the repeat that process over and over until you become proficient with it it opens up boom shane battier now if it was a different bid than the buy now i would have went down to the buy now to buy it but as soon as i realize that it's the same price on the max bid and the buy it now i can just get it off the max bid and then i'll be okay okay so let's say if it was different we can we can set it up a filter to make sure they're different um i would have to go i'd have to make sure the max bid was let's go if we put right here the max buy it 1000 boom so now i have it set up for the bid and the buy now are different because you're gonna get thrown into different situations where sometimes the bid and buy now are going to be the same, sometimes they won't be the same. So you don't really know. You don't really know. Now, there's not too many cards popping up on this filter, um, but it doesn't really matter. It's, it's enough, it's enough. So let's just start from the beginning. I mean, all these cards and the, 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 this one's ending in 15 minutes, so we got plenty of time. But just close your eyes. Don't do it for too long because there's not too many cards on the filter. When one pops up, or when you, when you open your eyes, boom, Craig Hodges. Notice there's a bit of a delay. So as soon as I press X, boom, there's a bit of a delay. It doesn't let me go straight to the buy now, but you need to. You cannot buy it off the bid. If you bid on it, you're going to miss it. Look, pretend this is an Opal Snipe, bro. You have to hold down. I'm holding down on a D-pad. Look, I, I wish I had like a hand cam or something where I can show you. I don't have that. But when it pops up, let me see if I can angle it the right way. I'm holding down, bro, right here right here bro whoa 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 right there you see my left my thumb right right there as soon as it pop ups I'm, I'm i'm holding down right there so it can go to the buy it now straight away once it's there basically i'm continuing to hold down i don't ever let go of this until it says you have successfully bought this auction I, i'm continuing to hold down and basically i'm just double tapping x now you see it's selected on no right now but if you continue to hold down it's gonna go instantly to yes and i'll show you the process of that i'll show you the process boom Boom. You see, it went instantly to yes. Now I let go after it's already on yes. Then I don't need to hold I don't need to hold down on the D-pad anymore. And then that's the fastest way to do it, really. When you are uh when the bid is a different from the buy now. If it's not, then you all you want to do is just get it from the bid. Boom. 
you press you basically when it pops up you double tap x because you need to press on the bid and then you just go down and then x again and then that's how you get it off the bid so that's really how you can improve your sniping speed that's i practiced that and then once i got on the opal filters i was pretty confident enough to get some good opal snipes all right so you should practice that if you're having trouble with sniping speed now some of you um i know i'm probably gonna get a couple questions about internet and sniping speed if you have any questions about internet and sniping speed and like if you think your stuff is messed up you should try to invest in the ethernet cable i use an ethernet cable so you know i don't have any problems with my internet all right so that's probably and they're they're pretty cheap too now some of you guys may your routers may be super far and at that point i don't know you may have to finger something else figure something else out mine is wired through the walls in my house because the router is not in my room it's in a different room so it's like wired through the walls like holes in the walls and all that and yeah it goes straight to my uh, ps4 so that's just my situation if you guys can set that up then obviously that would be ideal yeah so that's what's going to help you with your sniping speed now how to set up filters basically all you have to do is just know when the new packs come out as you can see they came out i didn't even notice this until i was about to record this video they came out with promo super packs what you do you figure out who you want to snipe that's in, that's within the packs so for me i'm really interested in kevin durant i'm interested in richard lewis michael porter jr is a good snipe um mellow tracy magic shack um jr smith lebron Giannis, those are the those are the only the guys that I'd be interested in. Now, if some of you guys want to snipe some of these other players, you certainly can do that. You just have to set up a filter depending on who the player is. But for me, if I want to set up filters for some of these guys, I mean nowadays with how the filters are, you have to do them very very specific to who they are because there you can't really do a general filter anymore like that because um a lot of the opals are cheap, so it doesn't really work like that anymore. So yeah, you just have to know what players go for what price so for example if i wanted to snipe this kevin durant or if, let's say i wanted to snipe Rashard lewis right Rashard lewis because he's probably the most expensive player in these packs let me let's just check Rashard's price real quick man my 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 hand is still hurting my wrist he's at two million basically he's probably the most expensive player in a game or not actually nah probably mj's go mj is probably more expensive but you guys get the point if i wanted to snipe Rashard lewis I know he's on the Thunder. I got to know what player, well, what team he's on, what color is he. I mean, that's you, you just look at the card and you can find that out. But what position is he? He's a small forward. Um, he's on the Thunder. So either you could snipe him by his name, which works. But if you want to try to snipe other players as well, figure out what other players are similar to him. So there's only two players who are like Rashard. That's Rashard and Kevin Durant. Not the out of position Kevin Durant, but the prime two Kevin Durant. So we go small forward Thunder because they're the same position. They're on the same team and they're the same color obviously both of these guys are snipes that's how you set up filters man you got to know the prices of what people go for and you just set it up that way if you watch it's kind of hard to explain you got to watch snipe filter videos a lot and then you get an understanding of how they work once you have an understanding of how they work then you can set up your own filters find out your own filters create your own filters and you should be good to go that's how i learned i watched like i said i watched the experts and they taught me everything i needed to know for sniping and then i start and once i started to become proficient and get snipes is when i started to make videos about it and then you guys learn from me and you guys make mt off of it too and then you know so that's just how it works man um i don't want to make this video too long guys so i'm probably going to end it off right here if there's anything i didn't address and you want to know you can ask me in the comments and i'll you know get back to you but yeah if you guys did enjoy if it was helpful make sure to hit the like button make sure to subscribe guys we're on the road to 40k we want to hit that as soon as possible guys so if you're new make sure to hit the subscribe button man i stream every day 5 p.m eastern so you definitely want to tune into those have the notification bell set to all so you get notified when i go live and yeah with that said i'll catch you guys in the next one peace out